Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna do my everyday glowy makeup using my current favorites. Pasensya na po kung medyo mga nga pa ako today because I haven't done a get ready with me makeup tutorial or even makeup reviews in like forever. As in 48 years na po talaga akong hindi nakaka-film, so pasensya na mga sis. I'm gonna do my brows first, pero wala namang exciting sa part na to kasi walang bago mga sis. Ito lang talaga yung ginagamit ko. It's the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and black kasi yung hair ko, so yung ginagamit ko na shade Neutral Brown. I don't know if napansin yung mga sis, every time nagsiskincare ka and then ginagawa niyo yung brows, parang medyo basa yung brows natin, di ba? Kasi when you do your skincare, of course, nasasagi naman yung mga brow hairs dyan. So what I do is I set my brows with powder first. Um, so, kahit anong powder lang meron kayo dyan, I get a brush and then ginaganon ko lang siya ng powder para mag-dry siya. I always start from the mid part and then dito sa tail end ng brows ko. And then of course, dito sa front part, chine-change ko yung angle ng kamay ko to mimic brow hairs. Medyo iba yung shape ng brows ko dito sa left mga sis. Mas madami ding sparse areas dito. Kaya tinatry ko silang ipantay. But you know what they say, your brows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. Before foundation, magpa-primer muna ako. And this is actually a rediscovery. I remembered meron ako nito before and I really liked it. And hindi ko lang siya repurchase And then I decided to buy it again. And I have been using it like almost every day. I actually bought the Calorie Primer kasi yun yung nag-viral sa TikTok, di ba? Maganda siya. Nakaka-blur out siya ng pores. Maganda talaga. Ang problema lang, hindi maganda yung presyo. Tapos, sobrang konti lang yung laman ng tube. I actually bought two already kasi madali lang siyang maubos talaga and sabi ko na I'm not gonna buy this anymore kasi nga eh, hindi ko ma-justify yung price kasi konti lang yung laman. So I went back to this primer and it's not expensive it's from the drugstore and it gives me the same effect. Actually it's better than the calorie. Yung calorie nagbublur out siya ng pores yun lang but this one gives you a soft canvas. Yung parang sobrang smooth ng skin mo whenever you apply your foundation and it actually blurs out your pores too. And as you can tell Sobrang love na love ko na talaga siya. May dent na. Um, sinabi ko na ba kung ano to? <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Meron silang iba-ibang variant nito. But ito yata yung first na release nila. And I love it so much. I really like it. This is actually not white. Para siyang pale pink na color. So I'm gonna put it on the right side of my face first para makita niyo yung difference. Ito yung side na may primer, ito yung side na walang primer, and yung bangs ko. Now, moving on to foundation. Ever since I got this, hindi na talaga ako gumagamit ng iba. Yes, I still buy different foundations kasi I'm a foundation junkie, but I always go back to this kasi gustong gusto ko yung finish niya. If you're still new to my channel, I have dry skin, and sobrang ganda nito if you have dry skin, normal skin, maybe combo skin, but oily skin, I'm not sure if it's gonna work for you. Sabi nila dupe daw to kay La Mer na foundation, and alam nyo na si La Mer, sobrang mahal talaga. This is not drugstore, um, but of course, if you compare it to La Mer, mas mura talaga siya. So this is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation and I got it in the shade 120 Light Warm. Yung coverage naman niya, light, buildable to medium coverage. And ang nakaganda nito guys, kahit ilang beses mo siyang i-build up sa skin mo, hindi talaga siya nagiging cakey. Sobrang ganda ng formula ng foundation na to. Pero yung ginagawa ko ngayon, um, I bought this um, primer because of, you know, the YouTubers that I watch. And sabi nila maganda daw talaga. But I don't actually use this like all over my face, I mix this in with my foundation. And I mix it with my other foundations too, but the combo of these two, so beautiful. This is from Say. It's called the Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow, and this is how it looks like. It reminds me of the Becca primer before, yung parang super sikat diba na primer from Becca. Same sila ng formula. I'm gonna swatch it to the back of my hand para makita nyo. Yan. That is how it looks like. Imagine, ganun yung skin mo. Diba? Bonga. Maganda din naman to pag ilagay mo sa skin mo and then patungan mo ng foundation. But I just like mixing it with my foundations. Wala po akong tray. So ito na lang yung gagamitan ko yung kamay ko. So ganito yung color ni Light Warm. And then maglalagay din ako ng one pump nito. And then of course, imimix ko silang dalawa. 
I know I'm super late in the game, but ever since I discovered a spatula, nagpanood ko lang to sa TikTok kasi ito yata yung ginagamit ng mga Korean makeup artist. And then I tried it, and then I can't stop using it. Nakikita ko yung difference if I just dot the foundation all over my face. Mas flawless talagang tingnan. Yung parang your skin but better look. Even if you build up the coverage, it still looks really, really nice. Mas time consuming nga lang siya, pero worth it naman siya. I'm not sure where I got this from, pero nasa Amazon yata to, and nakita ko rin siya sa Shein, as in one dollar lang. Before I put on my concealer, magko corrector muna ako and walang bago sa corrector natin kasi ito pa rin talaga yung ginagamit ko and I like the price because it's cheap. It's from the drugstore and maganda din yung formula niya talaga. It's from LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer and yung shade na ginagamit ko kasi ginagamit ko siya as a corrector, it's creamy beige. Kasi pag nagko-concealer ako, agad-agad, hindi ko kinorek yung darkness dyan. Nagiging gray yung mata ko. Not yung mata ko. <laughs> yung under eyes ko. Ang laki kasi ng sponge ko, parang nahihirapan akong i-blend yung concealer. Now for concealer, this is actually a rediscovery kasi meron na ako nito sa Pilipinas pa before. It's one of my favorite concealers in the past. Yung shade lang yung nag-iba kasi back when I was still in the Philippines, yung shade ko custard. And dito, yung shade ko light 2.2 nogatine or nogatine in Bisaya. Kung Bisaya pa to, nogat, nogatine. <laughs> I think I forgot to tell you the name. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. The reason why I use a corrector para hindi ako nagbe-build up ng coverage ng concealer kasi mas nag-crease yung under eyes ko pag dinadamihan ko yung concealer. And then I'm gonna use a brush to blend this part right here. And then ibe-blend ko din siya dito sa taas. Kasi sobrang dark talaga ng eyelids ko. Tignan nyo, para ako naka-brown na eyeshadow. I was super skeptical about this powder before. Kasi iniisip ko, hmm, baka pareho lang naman yung effects ng mga iba kong powders dito. But then, nag Sephora sale and sabi ko, bilhin ko na nga lang. Tapos itry ko kasi like the YouTubers that I watch, they wouldn't stop talking about this powder. So I bought it and... <laughs> Na in love talaga ako ng sobra sa powder na to. It's from Kosas. It's called the Cloud Set Powder in Feathery. So yung shade ko feathery. Maganda itong powder na to. Ang hindi lang maganda yung packaging niya kasi ang hirap i-open. I always use my spatula to open this kasi mababalit talaga yung kokon yun nito mga sis. And as you can tell, sobrang wasak na itong powder na to talaga. It's super beautiful kasi hindi niya na-alter yung finish ng foundation mo. Like for example, this finish right here. Di ba medyo dewy siya or merong healthy glow? If I set it with this powder, as in hindi talaga na-alter, trust me, I'll do the right side first para makita niyo. Sinet ko na ng powder yung right side na to. As you can tell, hindi niya talaga na-alter yung finish ng foundation. That is the reason why I love this powder so much. So I tried the Dior too, and it gives the same effect, but I like this better, to be honest. So if you're thinking about buying the Dior and the Kosas one, just go for the Kosas one. It's better, like for me. Meron ako may recommend sa inyo na powder if you don't wanna buy the Kosas one, pero magkaiba lang yung anong tawag nito, magkaiba yung finish nila sa skin. Kasi this will mattify your skin a little bit, but not too much though. Like, hindi naman ganun siya ka matte. But I feel like pwede siya if you have dry, combo, normal, and oily skin. But with the Kosas one, I cannot recommend this if you have combo and oily skin. Ito lang yung may recommend ko. This is from Essence. It's called the 16-hour cover and last powder foundation. Do not be scared um, kasi powder foundation, di ba? Whoa! Baka full coverage yan. Hindi naman. Maganda siya pang set ng foundation. Kasi I tried it on na walang foundation. Hindi siya madaming coverage talaga. Like, light buildable to light medium. Ganon. And, tingnan nyo, nagamit ko na talaga tong powder na to. It feels really smooth. Maganda siya. Trust me. 
I have been loving this bronzer lately, but I'm not gonna encourage you to buy because it's not a mura na bronzer. But if you can get it for a good price, like it's on sale, because I guys, no, I bought this, my 40% discount, so I bought it because I have been seeing it all over YouTube and I didn't even try it. So I said, I'm gonna try this bronzer. Na yan. And I like it. I super like it. I like the formula. It looks really subtle on the skin. And I like the color too. And this is from Chanel. It's called the Le Beige Bronzer in 390 Soleil Tan Bronze. This is how it looks like. And pagpasensyahan yun na yung mga bohok bohok dyan kasi sa brush ko yan. I don't really like blend it like this anymore. So when I use a cream bronzer, I just stamp it like this. When I say subtle, it's really a subtle bronzer. Kaya gusto ng gusto ko siya. Kasi yung ibang cream bronzer na pansin ko, if I put it directly on my face, medyo splotchy or hindi siya ganon ka maganda iblend. Tapos medyo makapal siyang tingnan. And yung formula nito, as in, very forgiving. So ito na rin yung gagamitin ko dito sa ilong ko. I am a wedding and lifestyle photographer, and yung shoot namin sometimes eight hours, sometimes ten, sometimes twelve hours. And pagdating ko sa room talaga, as in erase na yung blush ko, wala nang blush na natera. And ito yung ginagawa ko na nagla last longer yung blush ko talaga. So I put a cream bronzer, bronzer. I put a cream blush first, and then I top it off with a powder blush para mas to magal siya. This cream blush is super beautiful. As in super beautiful talaga mga sis. If you're planning to get the Rare Beauty blush, itrain nyo tong blush na to from Danessa Myricks. It's super nice mga sis. I'm not sure ko anong pangalan ng blush na to kasi ang nakalagay dito sa likod, Yummy Skin. And yung name ng shade na to, Rose and Brunch, Rose and Bunch, ganun siya. But, I don't put it directly on my skin, kasi this is super duper pigmented. I'm gonna give you a swatch. Ganyan siya. Super, as in, super pigmented talaga mga sis. Ilagay ko na lang dyan, and then I'm gonna use this stippling brush, and then I'll put it on my cheeks. When you touch it, it feels silicone-y. So I'm not sure if may silicone to. Kasi parang may blurring effect talaga tong blush na to. Maganda siya mga sis. Meron din ako ng Rare Beauty na liquid blush. Maganda talaga siya. But this one's special. Trust me. Iba talaga siya. You guys already know how much I love my M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush. Um, ito yung Venetian Rose nila. Ang ganda ng blush na to. Super. And then this one is the peach one, which is called Magic Hour. And ito, sirang-sira na siya sa kakagamit ko. And I found dupes from the drugstore for you. And I have been using these two. Actually, yung mas ginagamit ko dito, yung peachy na shade. It's called Pretty Peach. And this is how it looks like. So this is called the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. Um, you guys still remember yung super sikat and super favorite natin na highlighter from Essence before. Um, wala silang blush, de ba? So nag-release na sila ng blush ngayon. And just be careful. Go to the counter and swatch them. Kasi itong isa, it's called Pink Flush. Meron siyang maliliit na glitter. So if you have texture sa face mo, baka hindi mo to magustuhan. This is Pink Flush. This is Pretty... Yeah, pretty peach. Pink peach. Parang hindi naman ganun ka magkalayo yung color nila. But this one's really beautiful. Super nice ng blushes na to from Essence, mga sis. Especially if you have dry skin. And if you want a glowy blush. Look. <gasps> I love it. Pwede nang hindi kayo mag-highlighter. Sometimes, pag nakalimutan ko mag-highlighter, pag ito yung ginamit ko na blush, parang... Okay lang kasi glowy naman siya. But mag-all out na lang ako today since we're doing this video. I'm just gonna use this highlighter from this Hourglass palette. I don't really use eyeliners in the past. Like, nag-eyeliner lang ako pag nagme-makeup ako sa mata. Pero pag hindi naman, hindi ako nag-eyeliner. But ever since I discovered this fly liner from Fenty, you don't have to buy this. Kasi madami namang dark brown na eyeliners from the drugstore. Meron sa LA Girl, meron sa NYX. Hindi kailangan ito mga sis. Pero maganda yung pagka-brown niya. Kasi yung undertone niya may pagka-red undertone. Kaya warm brown siya. 
Basta maganda tong eyeliner na to. And medyo matagal na to sa akin, pero hindi pa siya nauubos, in fairness. Mas gusto ko yung brown eyeliner pang everyday kaysa black. I'm gonna add a little bit of this pink flush. Nabaliw na talaga ako sa sobrang daming blush. Now I'm just gonna line my lips with this pencil right here from NYX and yung shade niya natural. I like this shade kasi natural. <laughs> Nakita niyo na to sa vlog ko. I'm gonna use this one, the Almond Rose. Kasi ito naman yung ginagamit ko talaga like everyday. I just like smudge it on my lips and that's it. I have this lipstick from Milani and nakita ko siya sa TikTok kasi diba? Kasi dupe siya for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Meron din akong isa but I cannot find it. Kasi yun din yung dupe ng Pillow Talk 2 na shade. So, I don't have it. I can't find it, mga sis. Hanapin ko yun sa mga camera bags ko. And this is how it looks like. Oh, sorry. This is how it looks like. <laughs> if you don't want to get the pillow talk, then just get this. It feels the same on the lips, to be honest. Now, for setting spray, I know this is too much. But dalawa talaga yung setting spray na ginagamit ko. Kasi dry yung skin ko mga sis. And I want to retain the glow. But at the same time, I need something that would lock my makeup in place. So dalawa yung ginagamit ko. And dalawa yung favorite ko. So this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And if you've been watching me for quite some time now, alam nyo na matagal ko na tong favorite. And hindi ko na mabilang mga sis kung ilang bottle yung nabili ko dito. And it's expensive. But I couldn't find a setting spray from the drugstore na ganito yung effects sa skin. There is something special about this dewy skin mist. What I do, I spray this first. And then I love this one from Charlotte too. It's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I only have the travel size and this is my third bottle. As in, tatlong ganito yun na yung nabili ko because I don't want to buy the big bottle kasi gusto kong dalhin to sa mga shoot ko or whenever I travel, madali lang siyang ipasok sa bag kasi maliit siya. And reminds me to buy a new one kasi paubos na rin siya mga sis. That is it for my everyday glowy makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section below kung ano din yung mga favorites niyo, kahit local brands pa yan. Kasi malay niyo, baka makauwi ako ng Philippines this year, eh mabibili ko din yung mga favorites niyo and matry ko. O ba? hindi lang ako yung nang bubudol sa inyo, binubudol niyo din ako. <laughs> Thank you again guys and may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Woo! Namiss kong sabihin yun in fairness. Parang naging emo ako bigla. But I love you guys so much. Bye!